Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video you will learn how you can create this liquid image mask effect for your PowerPoint presentations. And what's awesome is that you can create it on pretty much all PowerPoint versions. So let's go. Alright, so first of all let me show you how we can draw this jelly bean shape. Let's open up a fresh blank new slide, let's go to insert shapes and let's choose triangle. Hold down the shift key to get a perfect triangle, super duper awesome. Now let's enter the edit mode mode and let's edit those points, let's make them smooth. Right click and choose smooth. Now let's grab this top point and let's drag it to the right side. And now we can play with these uh, point handles until we get the shape that we want. Alright, it looks like a jelly bean, that's awesome. Of course, you can draw any shape that you want. Let me resize it and let's place it on the left side of the slide. Let me copy a couple of elements from my previous slide to save some time. As you can see, we have 20 slides on this presentation. If you'd like to learn how to create those slides, I have recently launched class on Skillshare. Link is in the video description. Okay, so now let's add some animations to this jelly bean. So let's go to animations and let's choose spin animation that's awesome we can open up the animation pane and see all of the animations as you can see our text boxes have some animations already that's awesome so let's make sure that our jelly bean spin animation spin <laughs> spin animation starts with previous duration 20 seconds delay 0 seconds and the effect options so let's make sure that it repeats until the end of slide that's super awesome okay as you can see the repetition is visible in the timeline, that's good. Once again, let's preview all of the animations. Okay, and now let's add one more animation to this jelly bean. Let's add a grow shrink animation. So let's go to add animation, let's choose grow shrink animation. Let's choose vertical. Starts with previous, duration 5 seconds. Alright, and let's go to the effect options and let's add a smooth start of half a second, smooth end of half a second as well. That's wonderful. Let's check autoverse and repeat until the end of slide. Hit OK. Super duper awesome. So this is how our jelly bean looks like. It's spinning and it's sh growing and shrinking at the same time. <laughs> Vertically. Alright, so now let me show you how we can insert that picture. So let me just uh, make a backup of our slide and let's make a duplicate. Okay, and now let's insert a full screen image that covers the whole slide. And for that, let's just use our slide layout, full screen photo slide layout that we have created during the Skillshare class. And now let's uh, click on this image placeholder and choose any photo that we want. That's awesome. As you can see, the text gets lost on this photo, but don't worry, we'll fix that. So we can always adjust the positioning of the photo inside of the crop options. And now let me make sure this jelly bean is filled with white color so that we can see it better. Okay, so as you can see, we actually want to have the opposite result. We want to have this white background and this jelly bean to be see-through. So let me just save it as default shape. And now let's add a full screen white uh, rectangle that fills our entire slide, just like that. Let me send it a couple of steps back so that we can see all of the other slide elements. That's awesome. Let's not forget the one skill logo as well. Right now, let's select a rectangle, hold down the shift key, select the jelly bean, go to shape format, merge shapes and choose subtract. Hooray, and this way we have uh, subtracted this jelly bean. That's awesome. Okay, so now we can copy the animation with the animation painter from our previous slide. As you can see, the animations are still working on this jelly bean. So let's just grab those animations with the animation painter and let's paste to our cutout shape. Okay, now let's give it a preview. As you can see the animation doesn't look right, we have this background picture showing on the sides and this jelly bean is rotating all over the place. So we'll have to do some fixes, so for that let's just undo a couple of steps. Let's hit Ctrl Z. So first of all we have to make sure that this uh, rectangle is actually bigger than the slide itself. So you can see when the rectangle rotates we can see the background picture. So to fix that let me just zoom out a little bit. We have to increase the size of the rectangle. Hold down the Control Shift key to increase the size from the center. So let's increase it a little bit more. And now it should be working just fine. 
Okay, so now we can select the rectangle, select jelly bean, and now we can subtract the jelly bean from the rectangle. Okay, now let's use the animation painter once again, and let's grab and paste those animations to our cutout shape. Okay, so this time, as you can see, the background picture is not showing on the sides, that's awesome. But this jelly bean is flying all over the place. Of course, if you'd like to get this exact effect, then that's awesome. Let me show you how we can change the center of rotation so that this jelly bean more or less uh, rotates in its own place. As you can see now, the rotation center is somewhere on the side of the jelly bean. So that's why it's flying all over the place. To fix that, we have to insert a huge circle. Hold down the shift key to get a perfect circle. Let's remove the fill so that we can see what's happening. And let's make sure that the circle is aligned to the middle and center of the slide. That's awesome. And now let me just add a line. It will help us to see where is the center of the slide. Okay, now let's just select the circle and hold down the shift key. Select this line and let's group them together. Alright, so now let's grab this circle together with the line and let's move them to the left side so that this line goes through the middle of the jelly bean. And now we can delete this line, we don't need it anymore. And now let's select the cutout rectangle, hold down the shift key, select the circle and let's group them together. Okay. And as you can see, if we try to rotate this jelly bean cutout shape, now it rotates the way it should rotate, you know in the middle of the jelly bean. Looks awesome. As you can see we have a little bit of slide showing right here on the right side but I think it should uh, be looking fine because of the grow shrink animation. So let's reset the rotation and uh, let's make sure that we send this jelly bean cut out to the bottom of the slide so that we can see the rest of the elements. That's awesome. I mean, not to the complete bottom, because on the complete bottom we have the image placeholder. So one step above. Okay, so now only the titles are animated. So once again, let me just grab this animation from our previous slide and let's paste it to our cutout shape. Skadoosh, ladies and gentlemen, now you know how you can create this liquid image mask effect for your PowerPoint presentations. And if you want to change the image, that's super easy to do. Just delete the current picture and select a new picture and add it to your image placeholder. Don't forget to send the image placeholder to the bottom of the slide. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so thank you for watching. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on my next video.